I don't know how well you can see it, but you can see um, <clears throat> all the new bees that are sort of, it's their first time out of the hive. So they're doing orientation flights. It's pretty cool to see. You can't see it as good on video as you can uh, sitting here in real life. We'll see if I can zoom in. There you go, it's a bit better of a, you can see them doing their little figure eights and Oops, sorry about that. Do the, doing their little figure eights and checking out, getting wider and wider each time. And zoom out a little bit. There you go. So it's coming from the flow hive, the orange hive. You can see this other hive. They're just doing normal, normal duties, normal stuff. But yeah, no, I thought I'd show this. It's a really cool thing to see. I don't know if you can hear the noise from all the buzzing. Let me just pan up and over here. You can see them all around there. You can see them taking their flight, zooming off to get their nectar and pollen and water for the day. I don't know in Fahrenheit, but uh, it's 39 degrees. Oop, 30, oops, sorry about that. I had to turn around and look at the temperature. Um, it's only 30 degrees, but the humidity's way up there it's been mainly at uh, 80 percent humidity there for the last bit over a week uh creeping up to a couple nights there 90 degrees humidity uh 90 percent humidity in the evenings so yeah we've had some hot bloody days and hot bloody nights definitely giving the air conditioners a workout Yeah, how cool is this? Just zoom in on that entrance for a little bit. You can see the white pollen coming in. Let me get a bit closer. I'll probably get lit up here. But yeah, you can see all the big full sacks of white pollen. So we've still got a flow coming from somewhere. Um, oh well, pollen doesn't mean flow, but uh, I do know we're still still getting a flow. Um, I've been sitting here watching these bees now for few days just in the mornings they've been flying just before uh, just before dawn you see the first few come out and then about eight o'clock when the temperature's sort of right you can really hear the hive roar but yeah they're loving that little little bee awning I've made bee veranda you can see the heat's got to this little patch of garden I just sort of put in the marigolds are doing right well except for some uh, but I have lost a lot of silver beet so I watered this last night about midnight over here with my don't know where to put it garden they're doing okay the roses aren't that good but I'll have to take some cuttings off them. The lychee tree here, it's still going gangbusters. I've got to put it in the ground. My poor ginger, it's really feeling the heat up against this wall. But it's the only place I can get it out of midday sun and afterwards. So I haven't been able to put up shake off yet. Get my shadow out of here. So I've lost my lemon glass. I gave this um, sweet potato a good clipping there the other week, or about a week, about three days ago. The grasshoppers gave it one hell of a time, but it's it's starting to come back. So I didn't want to put grass, I'll let them all jumping as I bloody put my hands through it. Got to take some good cuttings from this rosemary. Take some cuttings and uh, try and get them rooted. I think as this winter comes, all this hardwood is really going to die back. And you can already see, well, this must be might be struggling from the from the heat too. We've been trying to give it all the good water. That's what progress looks like. Pretty, uh, pretty messy. We've got bags of manure. They're going to go in this new raised garden bed that I've got here. 
if you remember this from my old house this had my broccoli and a few other plants in it uh was it turmeric yeah i'm not sure but yeah get it going and come to here and you can see i've this is about as far as i've gotten i have trimmed a bit of this stuff out but if you remember that whole garden the whole way along was full of those ferns but yeah so getting there i don't know where to put my pumpkins so they're out the side here by the bees They're going all the way up here. Shoot my shadows, the bee mess. But uh, they're running all the way there, down there behind the shed. The nice crook neck pumpkins. I think they're crossed with what we call Jap over here. So I'll give you a close up in a sec of just a few, a few of the pumpkins that are growing. It's down the back of the shed here, beside the other two beehives. You can see these kind of pumpkins. You can see the colour and the shape. This one here, I've just got grown on some barrier fence that I should have. I should have had it pulled off that ages ago, and I need really need to use these fences, but I don't want to take them away. But yeah, they're a strange looking pumpkin. This here is all flesh, and it comes down to the bulb, and in the bulb there is where you've got your your seed down in the middle. So as far as I know, they were called crook neck. They could be called something else, but yeah, pretty pretty awesome. And you love them for roasting because you can just slice that head, that neck all the way down. And then when you get that little bulby bottom, you can fill them up with uh, goodies and roast them like that.